Hello everybody, welcome back to all the mods Gravitas 2. So, uh, in the last episode, we have like, we've made like a bunch of this, we upgrade a bunch of the machine, right? We upgrade into, we have a electric furnace, we upgrade the macerator, we upgrade the alloy smelter, right? So they all like, advanced machine and, that we, and it doesn't just use steam anymore and they work faster. For the four chamber and the compressor, I think I'm still gonna keep them at low, at the steam version because they work fine. That they work fine like as their own right now. They, I don't think upgrading them to higher tier. It's gonna be like better, like that much better compared to this stuff. Like this stuff is like it's like half the time of the of the processing, right? Like you can see the cast iron ingot. It's just like half the half the time. To turn them into the iron, like this thing. So here it's only thirty seven point five, but if you are the using the low pressure, it's gonna be like seventy second, right? So upgrading this stuff is like really good, especially the macerator because you can macerate this stuff down and it's way better, and you can get a whole like a lot of more ingot from macerating and then electric furnace. But uh, one problem with this thing is that. Uh, because it's so far away from this um, steam turbine, this stuff can't really run at all. Like I can show you. So let's say, let's see. I have uh here. So here is the um, tin and copper, right? We want we want to make bronze. So the ratio is gonna be one copper. Uh, wait, no, three copper, one tin, right? So like this, you throw it in there. You see that it's using 16 U per tick, which is like only half of this thing because this thing is producing 32. But because it's so far away from the machine, from this like la uh, from this source over here, that is not it's actually actually draining the energy. Like the energy is not keeping up. So that's why I want to make more uh, generator and like basically divide the energy out and not like forcing one machine on one generator to provide energy to all this stuff that is the first thing the second thing is that i want to make that process the pro that basically i want to make a line of process that can help us make this thing easier you can see that this thing is like extremely annoying to make right it's so much stuff in it and each of them is like you have to do this you have to do that and it's really annoying so the present resin printer circuit board is easy already because there's no really any other way you can make this other than just have to do yeah you just still have to do the wood plank and then you do like surround it with uh copper and thing like that so that is the resin circuit board is what we have to do manually still plate well there's not any way this thing also not any way but this stuff so in the uh, bacon tube, we have steel bolt, right? The glass tube is easy, but steel bolt, we still need to like manually doing it. And the resistor, which has paper that we have to do manually, which is also annoying. So that's why I have made, have like Mark four machine over here. First one is a chemical bath. The reason why we make the chemical bath, we want the chemical bath because then we can do paper on one saw, so uh, one one sawdust or one wood pool basically one of this thing over here one of this and from one of that we can get one paper instead of like having to make two for one because this recipe is four for two right so it's two for one and you also don't need to like manually click in like water and stuff just put the item in and I can wrap the water inside the chemical bath and it's basically make for us the paper and so that's one thing next is the circuit assembler because instead of having to craft them you can just throw them in here and by doing this way you get rid of one alloy so you'd only cost it only cost like two alloy and it doesn't even need to be uh the cable either meaning you don't even need to use the rubber so using a circuit assembler you don't need the rubber you can get a rid get rid of one alloy red alloy wire and you can use tin instead of steel plate smoldering tin like this this thing liquid tin 
and one of these like the same amount making from like normal crafting you can make one basic electric circuit right but the same amount of material putting in the circuit assembler you make two so you will basically double the output from making one right and they only 10 seconds and it's an LV so our machine can already like handle that and that is basic uh, basic circuit assembler and next is the extractor so this thing is that you can turn ingot into liquid so that is for the liquid over there like you can see you can use either soldering alloy which is fine but i think it's way annoying more way more annoying and it's not really that worth it instead we can use tin and this tin you can get from no not that liquid tin yeah liquid tin from extractor and just throw one ingot in there you can see one tin ingot and it's liquid tin so we need extractor next to the basic circuit assembler so that it will just we just need to throw the tin into the extractor and then it will fit into the uh, circuit assembler and then we need the cutter cutter is for the use of old steel bolt you can use extruder which is way way better uh, actually it's not even way better it's actually the same it's just that it's faster because you don't have to turn steel ingot into rod and then turn it to steel bolt but this is a cutter we can turn one steel rod into four bolts instead of uh like basically it's just turning turn into the bolts for us and instead of one steel rod turn into uh two bolts like this we get one steel rod turn into four bolts so we basically also double the in the output and they can also use water and they and they only need like they are only the U, U, uh, ULB tier, so it's also really fast. So yeah, so that is like the four machine we are going to make. Plus the basic steam turbine generator. Uh, I think I'm just going to make the basic steam turbine generator first, because energy is kind of a problem for these two. Yeah, so I'm just going to make it, and then uh, after that we're going to make these four. Okay, so first off is the, this thing. We have more to make this one, so I guess I'm just gonna prepare every much uh, every uh, ingredient, and then we were just gonna craft it normally. Like I'm just gonna craft the final step, like a couple of final steps, so it's gonna be more interesting than looking at me at preparing the material again, right? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I think we have basically everything. So let's make the the two normal bronze fluke first so it's two of them okay and then we make this thing the casing and we need cable i mean cable we need a lot of them huh so that should be the machine hole and we need one uh basic electronic circuit which i think we should do ah yeah we should have enough of that then a baking tool. Yeah, okay, two. Nice. And resin circuit board. We already have the wood plank, so I'm just gonna add this. That's one. That's enough. There we go. And then the red alloy cable. Man, I think we are running out of uh, rubber right now. Hopefully, it's enough for us to go. Uh, this is a screwdriver. Like two of the rotor. One, two. Okay, that's two rotor. Like in this stuff, you need more tin cable. Uh, yeah, I think we running out of, uh, of rubber right now. Um, we not we have do we have any outside here? No, we not. We still have on our cell like this stuff. So I guess we're just gonna throw like three pieces of coplas over there and let it run while we're using this stuff in our inventory. So I guess I'm just gonna wait another bit to get um to get more rubber sheet rubber plate there. Okay, let's process sticky resin. Um, how many do we need to put in? I guess it's half, right? 
I don't need I don't think we need to make like a bunch of them or not. Oh yeah, don't look at this. This is uh a secret project I was like um preparing, plan planning basically. This will be like in the next couple episodes. Okay, so the raw rubber. Wait what? Oh, oh this is charcoal dust. Wait, this two looks almost the same. I was like, oh, what's going on? This is stack. Let's throw it in here. We need this thing out and put them into the alloy smelter. Yeah, this thing is cheap. Doesn't matter. It doesn't take that much energy. So while waiting for that, let me see. Is there anything else we need? I don't think so, right? We have basically everything except this stuff. We need more copper wire. Just like we have a billion of them right now. The vein that we found is like 3,000 copper vein, so 3 to 4,000. So I don't think we need we need copper anymore than that. So let it run. All right, I think that's it for all of them. So we should be making. Uh, we should be able. We should be able to make this thing now. Uh, tin. Wait, how many do we need about this? All right. Or because we need uh, two of the electric motor motor and we need one more tin cable from here that should be another basic uh, steam turbine let me see okay so we have to craft this manually some machine i think some machine uh can you can make them using other machines like i don't remember which one but i saw some so first off let me see let me get my create Range. I want to rearrange all of this, so I'm gonna take this thing to out. There we go, and I'll probably put this thing here and move this two over. Um, actually, I'm gonna make accelerator like this and electric is up here. Yeah, like that. The reason is, is because I want it to output in on top, so we can just automate it. Let me get my cutter. Cut this thing out. There we go. And now, this side, I want to alloy smelter. The handle can be anywhere, to be honest. Here then. And then we can do it like that. Like this. And... Oh. Oh, come on. That's so annoying. I hate this, like, IPN thingy. To disable the auto-refill, because it's just gonna auto-refill whenever it's, like, at one durability. So, first off, I want to connect with this thing first. Yeah, so that's, that's first. And then... Oh, man, we have to make another uh, cutter, huh? Anyway, that's... For now. And then we can, um... How do I route this thing I guess just route like this um uh let me cut it oh stop it first let me see can this thing run over here okay it, it, it will be okay um I guess I'm just gonna move this thing down one block. Actually, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, really? So annoying. Before that, I need to make another cutter first. So, cutter. Do we have a steel cutter? Steel. I think we do. Okay. We have, yeah, this thing. So steel, steel, steel screw, steel cutter blade, but still double inlet. Really, there's no way to make this thing easier. Really, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna make this thing and I'll be back. All right, I think that is enough for making this. Yeah, okay, here you go. So now we can make, now we can change this thing down here. So because we can cut this thing out and put this thing around here. Okay, there we go, and then we want 
Oops, I forgot. We need to have this thing go out at that. This thing over here. So that should be enough to that, so that this thing will... And just have like, oh my god. Things spilling out. Actually, no. Like this. Oh no, no. Oh no. Ah, come on. That, and then like this. There we go. That should be everything. And then the uh, two steam machine. I'm just gonna put it over here. Uh, maybe it's here. I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, compressor and stuff. It's gonna be. Um, what side though? Oh, if it put like this. Actually, I can put like this. Uh, where's the pipe? Here you go. Pipe. Here you go. And then this one on top. Okay, that should be everything. And then we can use my. Where's my other thing? Here you go. Use this too. Put it on top so that it's gonna spill out the steam on top. Okay, so that should be right. Uh, everything right now, and that's it's gonna be the setup. Next stuff we're gonna make the other thing, the four this thing. I think also, I feel like I want to make extruder because making rubber shift is. Like, really annoying. We know that we can make ingot using uh, alloy smelter, right? But after that, we have to turn this into rubber plate. And there's not any way to make it except you have to use a extruder, which is an MB tier, which we can't do it. Or we can use, what is that? Where is it? Extractor to turn them into liquid rubber. And from the liquid rubber, we can use fluid solidifier, turn it into plate, and both of them are like tier like LV and lower, so we can use it. So I guess it's gonna be one extractor and then one so fluid solidifier. So one extractor. Okay, what is going on? Okay, yeah, one extractor and then one fluid solidifier. There we go. So, um, I don't know now, which, which one should I make first? Uh, let, let me look into the recipe first. So this one, okay, looks complicated. This one also looks complicated. Oh, this one even use good, uh, thingy. Like it, it's not just the normal one. Oh, so maybe we're not even be able to use this yet though. Like the recipe for this doesn't need, uh, MV, but to make the thing, it you need MB stuff. Seems that this is MB tier circuit. Yeah, good electronic circuit. Analytic diode. Assembler. Okay, yeah. So we have to make assembler first. Oh my god. Okay, but we still need to make the other stuff because a chemical bath is gonna make uh, making paper easy. Cutter is gonna make making rod super easy. Uh, extractor is gonna help extractor and fluid fluid solidifier will help us like making the rubber. So beside the circuit assembler, we're gonna make the force. I'm still gonna delete those. So fluid solidifier, extractor, and how many basic electronic circuit do we need? This thing is like we need eight of them. Okay. Eight of the basic electronic circuit and four machine hole. All right, time to prepare. Oh my god, that's also some insane machine stuff. All right, so I have just made like four basic electronic circuit and two of these LV machine holes. I think we only right now because like still is taking forever to process. Like, out over there. Right now we only have enough to make two machines, so... Which is why I want to make these two first. And... After that, I think it's gonna be the end of the episode, but... 
for now two of this two of these first and if i feel like it or if the episode is too long or too short i'm gonna maybe make another but right now we want to make these two first and to make the flute solidifier you need to make these two of this thing uh, we already have this stuff but it's only one right now we need to make two and then the extractor we need another one so that is three in total so we need to make another tin screw uh where is the fire here you go so we need a lot of tin thing huh okay let's make all three then there we go three tin screw and then we need uh three tin router which more screw so let's take stack of this out how many um tin rod do we need let, 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 let's check so this one needs uh that is one right and then we need another one so that's two tin rod oh, oh i mean that's two tin ingot uh it should be oh i forgot yeah right oh man really this one is not um workable in a rolling mill for some reason it doesn't have a recipe for rolling milk it, it, it only has like i guess extruder or like something how do you make tin rod by the way i forgot about that uh cutter yeah it, it can only be in a cutter and we don't have it yet but oh, it doesn't matter anyway uh so we still need two tin ingot oh my as well i'm just gonna show you guys how i make like the rod I've made like so many rods that I feel like I can just like remember everything about them. So let's let's do it like, live on doing this thing because this is like really fast. You don't need to wait a lot because this thing melts at a really low point. So we can just wait a bit and it's gonna be hot enough for us to work this thing. So making this is super easy right now for me because I've been making rods for like a wire like a lot of rods already especially the tin one because there's no recipe for the rolling so i just have to make it by hand so we throw it in here get the rod and it's going to be draw draw bend so what i did is that i line up like right there i just press four and one of these a one string five punch and then one of these hit and two draw and one of these so I do it for every single one of them. It's not enough heat. And I've done so many that it's kind of like, oh yeah, I can remember how to do it really fast. So same thing, one, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That is two tin rod, a uh, four tin rod, I mean. So the tin rod is done. That means we can do this thing. So we need two of these. And then we need to make, uh, cut it out and turn them into, where's my fire? Here you go. Screw. And we need the tin plate. There we go. And it's going to be two more days of this thing. That should be three of this because that is only two, uh, each of, each of them only need one of each of this. And then we need two more, uh, six more, right? Six more of this rubber. So that's gonna be this six. And then, uh, tin cables, easy electric motor, motor, electric rotor, motor. Man, my inventory is so crammed, Jesus. Um, okay, so we need iron ingot. How many um, of these things we need? One, two, three, right? So that is three. Three, it's going to be nine. It's going to be ten. Actually, we only need four because we have one left over over here. Roll them into the rolling mill. There we go. It should be fast. This thing is like really fast. There we go. It's nine in total, and we can get the redstone. 
go and clear this. That's done for the rod. We make this right away. Um, so, the, how many uh, tin wire is that? Each of them, we need, we need three, right? We need three, so each of them has two. So that's six. Sixteen cable. And that should be all of this stuff we need. Three of them, yeah? We need more bronze. Luckily, we make a bunch of bronze. Uh, how many exactly? Uh, okay, yeah, that is nine. Perfect. Nine and... We get the tin plate already, so now we make the other two tin router. So one more. There we go. Almost there. Uh, so waiting for that one. So that should be the last thing. And also three more tin cable. There we go. So that should be everything for the solid def uh, fruit solidifier. Extractor. We need electric this thing okay so this is more iron rod two more iron going to this rolling mill i mean here and what else uh tin steel ingot so one two three four uh five six right this one is two so one two three four Five, six, six, still in good. Oh my god, we, we literally one left. I uh, one shot, one shot. Wow! One shot, and it's actually in the blast furnace. So that should be enough to make the rest of this thing. There we go. Get the thing. Okay. Um, right, we won the bronze plate, and that should be everything, right? So, put the bronze plate in three normal bronze fluid, and three of this thing one, two, three. Okay, yeah, that's three of that. And we only need team cable now, okay, more team, please. Uh, I'll make five more, put five more in here. We also need glasses, which we already have, and we need chests. Why suddenly we need chests in for this thing, right? by the way? And we suddenly needing chests for this recipe, for some reason. Right, watch. That's kind of weird. Uh, red cable, there we go. Two cable. And that should be the basic fluid solidifier. There we go. I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna put it down. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put it here. But I want to put it on top of the extractor so that I can pump the liquid on top of, like, upward. So it's gonna be from the extractor into the fluid solidifier. That's my plan. And then now the extractor. We need two more tin cable. Okay. We have we need this thing so two more tin cable so two more and the uh, steel thingy so fluid solidifier done this thing oh my god more tin cable Jesus what the hell Oof. four redstone to make the magnetic iron rod so this should be everything right right everything don't need to like go around anymore so the electric motor done the steel gear done this thing's done and that should be the extractor there we go oh and that's crazy so the extractor here and then the fluid solidifier there we need a rod and then we need the after and up there and there go up there we go they should be yep they should be getting energy and if i remember correctly we can uh output setting yeah output 
it's how it's gonna be this is, uh, that is what is that what is that is that um oh left click to tune the item output right click to tune the fluid auto output okay so this is fluid right okay so disable fluid input from the output side okay disable item input from the output side okay i don't know uh it's auto output right so it does it shouldn't be needed for input so okay this is fluid solidifier and this is the mole okay yeah so in theory this should be making let's see let's see so do i have anything to put in oh no ah okay oh anyway basically we we done with this too right and so that's the extractor done can let me see can we make basic cutter oh my god i can see so many still being used oh my god oh man hey i don't think we have enough steel to make this stuff right now and wrought iron ingot is also kind of a pain to make because there's no other way to make it except putting in putting them into the bloomery so i think this is it for today episode um i want to prepare a lot more steel ingot so that we can finish making this two in the next one and yeah that's pretty much just how the next episode is going to be i don't know after that it's going to be maybe some adventure because we have been sitting at the house like at our house just working machine for like i don't know how long couple of days already so but uh yeah this is it gonna be uh for the episode thank you for watching bye